Daddy had an old windmill out on the farm. I used to sit and watch it in the wind below from the loft of our barn until mom would start screaming. I first started singing when I was 11 years old. I heard Leanne rhymes blue, and I started singing along with that. I wrote my first song then. It was called, I'm Only Lonely For You. Texas weather, that's the way we look. One minute I need you, the next minute we're giving up. It could be I would classify my music as country. Even if I write something that doesn't seem country, it's going to come across country in the way that I deliver it. If you would have My influences, um, it's actually a wide range. I was born in the 80s, so country-wise, I was influenced by Randy Travis, uh, The Judds, Reba McIntyre, and then growing up through the 90s, I listened to a lot of early Faith Hill, Shania Twain, Garth Brooks. Um, now, though, I play with guys that are more rockers, so they've gotten me into listening to more Tom Petty. I listen to a lot of Hayes Carl, so it's, it's a pretty eclectic group of people who influence me. Texas weather. When you come out, it's it's just going to be a good time. You're going to laugh, you're going to dance, and just let your hair down. Have a good time. Where have you gone? Some of the coolest places that I've played, I have played the Grand Ole Opry with Billy Joe Shaver. I've had my own taping of the PBS special, the Texas Music Cafe. They did a whole little segment on me that aired on PBS. And I have played a party for a president. It was the day that Obama was elected and they were having George Bush's homecoming party to Waco and I got invited and asked to play that. So that was a really cool experience. Was somebody up against the law? The people that I've played with uh, include Aaron Watson, Stoney LaRue. I've gotten opportunities to play big shows with Tracy Lawrence, Craig Morgan, and I opened for Steve Warner once, and that was really exciting for me. My first song to chart on the Texas music chart was Every Bad Habit, and that's a song that I wrote all by myself, so that's something that I'm really proud of. And to have that recognition here, that's really important because with so many really great artists here in Texas, to have it, it's being played, and when it's played, people hear it, and that's going to bring them out to your shows. So it, that was a really great thing.
cowboy, but a, a simple man. In the future, I see myself accepting a CMA award. Um, I have plans to just keep writing, write with other people, just to keep growing in that, do whatever I can to make my shows better. Just, I'm constantly thinking of ways that I can just improve on what I'm doing, so. A blue bonnet fields of green Swaying on a porch swing, sipping on some sweet tea just going to keep doing whatever I can to make myself better. I'm constantly reading articles, watching autobiographies, reading liner notes to see what other artists have done, not just artistically but business-wise. And I think the minute that you stop exploring that you should just quit because there's always something that you can do to make yourself better. You play more instruments, just dive into it, you know, and there's no plan B for me, so I'm just going to keep working.